Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to upgrade your Spigot and Craft Bucket server to Minecraft 1.9, which was released possibly last week, and it was about an hour or two ago when uh, Spigot released their uh, build tools, which will allow you to upgrade your server. So I'm going to leave a link to this and Git for Windows. Uh, these are the only two things that you will need. And what we're going to do is download uh, build tools, obviously. That will uh, lead you to Jenkins. Just click uh, the dot .jar here and it will uh, obviously download. I already have it. Uh, I think... Uh, no, I don't actually... I actually do need to download it. So, um, there we go. Let's save that. And we're going to need Git as well. So, uh, download both of these. I've already got Git. It should be on the desktop. There it is. So, once you've downloaded both of them, we're going to want to install Git. It is a program. And... Um, if you recognize it, I did use this in my tutorial on how to um, compile a 1.8.8 spigot um, .jar. So once that's installing, we are going to want to grab the, uh, where is it, the build tools. So um, can we just drag this? I don't really use this browser very often. There we go. So uh, build tools, pop it in your 1.9 server or whatever it's called. And once uh, Git has installed, we are going to open up Git Bash, uh, which is a, another program you get with it, I think, because there's multiple things that you can open. Uh, we don't want to see the release notes, so we are going to type in Git Bash. As you can see, there is CMD, GUI, and Bash. Bash is the one we want. And once we are here, we need to go to the desktop, so change directory, desktop. And then just change the directory from the desktop to your folder. So we called it 1.9. Pretty straightforward. Now once you're here, uh, you will need a code. So the code is on the Spigot page. It's slightly different to last time, as you need this hyphen hyphen rev 1.9 on the end. So Java uh, hyphen jar, and then build tools dot jar. There's no point in renaming that. Just leave it how it is. Then hyphen hyphen rev. 1.9. So make sure that's correct or it won't work. Hit enter and it will start the long process of uh, cloning this file. So uh, yeah, this will take a couple of minutes, but while, while that's going on, what we're going to do is create a new folder. This is going to be our 1.9 server. Let's do that now. And this is where we're going to stick, obviously, the uh, new .jar we're going to make. So we do need a .bat file to run it. So um, if I can remember correctly, the way to create a .bat file is java-xmx2048, uh, which is the amount of RAM, M, uh, hyphen jar, so the jar is going to be called spigot-1.9.jar, uh, hyphen O, and then true, and then pause on the second line. I'm pretty sure that's it. I uh, I had to look before the video, but <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that's accurate. And we're going to save it as start.bat. And then we can go ahead and delete this. So um, let's see how it's doing. Oh, it seems to be doing very well. It's decompiling everything. Um, and there's a lot more it needs to do. So I will be back once this has finished. So I'm back, and as you can see, it is a success. Nothing has gone wrong, which is fantastic. That's what I want. So uh, if we scroll up, we can see uh, that it has been decompiling this for a long, long time. And everything's a success. No failures or errors. No skipped files, which is good. So you can go ahead and close this now. And as you can see, in the 1.9 folder, there is a lot of folders and items. So the main two things that you want are the Craft Bucket 1.9 and obviously the Spigot. I always use Spigot because uh, I believe it actually runs better um, and is um, a bit more configurable than Craft Bucket. Uh, so we are just going to copy that into our 1.9 server folder. And hopefully if I've got the start.bat right, it should run and we will then have to accept the EULA. So, um, there we go, hit space, the EULA is false, but we need to set it to true. So go ahead and do that, save the file, and then run your um, your server. So uh, what we are going to do, we're going to hop in game, 
A lot of plugins will not work with this new update as Mojang did change a lot of things. Um, I think I tried World Guard earlier, that definitely doesn't work, so presumably Essentials won't work either, as well as um, maybe some other important plugins. So if you do have plugins that make your server um, well uh, unique, you might want to wait before you actually update. So we're going to opt myself, uh, 007, there we go, and we are going to go into game mode 1. Um, that keyboard you can hear in the background is a Razer Black Widow Chroma. I got it a few days ago and it's just amazing. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to have a quick look. I've already showcased some of these in my previous video on how to make a vanilla um, server. So there's obviously per per blocks, that's strange. There is, uh, what else is that? End Crystal Chorus Plant, Chorus Plant, I don't know how you say that. And Dragon Heads, that's, that's a nice feature. <laughs> they look kind of funny. So, um, yeah, that is how you do it. Um, pretty straightforward, if you ask me. If you have any problems, um, I would recommend checking that you have your Java updated and you haven't, like, mistyped anything because uh, that is a problem that <laughs> I have a lot that I forget. Maybe um, the end of a word or a hyphen, it just goes completely wrong. Anyway, that is how you do it and how you create a server. Very, very easy. Subscribe, like, comment if it helped. And I'll see you next time.